didn't see there. Today, we're talking about notebooks. A lot of the conversation that I see online around notebooks is the same sort of conversation that happens around YouTube and cameras, right? People think that if you have a really nice camera, that'll make your video better. Really, it'll just make your video look better. It won't make it any necessarily more interesting. The same thing with notebooks. You may have an expensive notebook with a leather cover, but if you never use it, then it's garbage. Like, I personally think that this, which I got for something like 56 cents from the Safeway up the road, is a lot more valuable than something like this, which is a uh, hardbacked Electrum A6, because I don't use notebooks with hard covers. I can't get used to it. It feels wrong in the hand. The covers break. Um, it's just not good for me. I am never going to use this book. But something like this, I might use every day. Little instances of strange things that I've noticed people doing. When I was a kid, I had a whole little stack of these and I'd write short stories in them about birds and being the last surviving member of an expeditionary crew. But the problem with that was that I never finished them because something about this form also disagrees with me. Form is very interesting in this conversation because it, one, doesn't really matter and two, matters a lot. I'll explain what I mean. It doesn't really matter which notebook is the best notebook, right? What matters is what you can use. Like for me, I find it very difficult to write on lined paper. I don't know what it is about it, really makes it hard on me. And I really made an effort in college, and I'm gesturing here my college notebooks to write on lined paper because that was the cheapest paper that was available in the commissary, but um, none of them are finished. Like, I, I never got to the end of any of these books for two reasons. One, they were lined. I can't write on lined paper, really gets to me after a while. And two, they were single use, right? For example, this book, right, gigantic, lined, was about video editing. Now, I don't know what notes I thought I was gonna take on video editing, but I did not take a lot of them. But when that class was over, I'm not gonna write on the front that it's about Whatever my next class was, I wrote, I bought a new notebook and I wrote in that. The same with this one about a 3D sculpture that I took, right? I bought this nice little notebook. I wrote about 3D sculpture in it. And when the sort of things that I could take notes on in 3D sculpture ran out, this book had no more purpose. But the books that I've finished have been books like this. Little tiny notebooks that I have on me. That is where the second part comes in, uh, where form matters a lot. There is no one perfect notebook, but there is a perfect notebook for you, right? For me, it's a small black notebook that fits in my pocket so that I can put them all up on my shelf and they all look the same. And I make a lot of, uh, I make little labels for them, you know, but the right notebook for you might be something more like this which is a binder clip and about 10 sheets of three by five paper. Why? Because you can tear them out and give them to people and write notes and hand them out and you never feel bad about it because it's not a real notebook, right? Low barriers. Or maybe you're someone like my dad who only writes on grid paper because he's a, some kind of scientist and uh, you might want something like this field notes notebook that has all this uh, graph paper on it. Maybe you do a lot of graphs. Maybe you're a scientist. I don't know. Maybe you're the sort of person who buys a nice notebook and actually uses it, in which case I would recommend my friend Bryn's line of handmade notebooks. She made this with her own hands. And look, it's got like a little um, like creepy thread going all the way around. It's really good. And uh, she sells them. And there's a link in the description if you want to check them out. But everything's different for everyone. So I can't make these sort of like uh, Moses coming down from the mountain, like proclamations about what's good and what isn't because it's different for everyone. Form doesn't matter. Form matters a lot. There is no perfect notebook, but there is a perfect notebook for you. But for me, I write everything down in these and I use them up pretty fast, which is fine by me and I use either the uh, built-in table of contents 
or I make supplemental indices on separate pieces of paper and I go through after they're done and write down all the different things that are in them so that I can reference them later. Because that is the second big part of notebook use, reference. Now, I've been talking about notebooks, been talking about form. Why is it important to write things down in a notebook, especially if you're not in school anymore? Something like this video editing book, right? Like. I can understand how you might need that because there's going to be a test later, but there's never going to be a test in real life, I hear you saying. Actually not true. Real life, full of tests. Remembering acquaintances' names. Remembering things you wanted to get at the grocery store. Remembering where stuff is. Remembering to tell people things. These aren't exactly subjects that I think you can learn in school, but they are things that you are tested on constantly. My memory is terrible. There's so much that I've forgotten. And it's worth being called professor a couple of times to remember, um, for example, what happened on any given day. Like, uh, where is it? It was right here. Journal 11. I made a little index so that I can reference the different things. Let's see, the Irish word for cat. I sort of built in a little bit of magic in my system, so I'm never quite sure what I'm gonna get, but uh, this is actually a very interesting point about um, the way the Irish language is, is phrased. You wouldn't phrase it, I own a cat, but you would say, a cat is at you. Like the way that the language is structured, um, possessives are all kind of strange. Like, you don't say, I'm sad, you say, sad is upon me, like that. And that's something I don't have to keep in my mind at any given time, because it's right there in black and white, clear as crystal, in Journal 11, right? And I can reference it any time I like, but I don't have to keep it up here. It's all free up here. <laughs> Unburdened by thought, that's me. A minimalist principle that I've been trying to incorporate into my life is the idea of minimizing choice. Right? Because there's like a million things you, you choose on a daily basis. Like what to have for breakfast, what to have for dinner, what kind of shoes to wear. Clothing wise, I've basically licked it because I wear the same thing every day. Uh, I also eat the same thing for breakfast every day. Like when I start my day, I don't have to think about anything. I just, I just do it. Like I'm, I'm started, you know? Which is very helpful because the time that I start is just radically different all the time. The same thing with these little notebooks. I've, I've tested a bunch of notebooks and I've found that either Moleskine pocket size soft cover blank notebooks work for me or more recently these Electrums. Since I've been writing the page numbers in all my Moleskines I decided to look and see if there was another notebook that actually had page numbers printed on it and the Electrum does. It has all the, it has page numbers and blank pages which uh that's just right up my alley. Speaking of which, this video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to cut it into multiple pieces. I don't know exactly how many yet because I'm making this in the production process. Um, but the next piece is going to be tomorrow, focusing more on uh, content and the actual meat of journaling, not so much about form. And because this is the end of the video about form, I thought I'd announce that I'm going to give these two notebooks away. They're empty. Um, they're Electrums. One's hardcover, one's softcover. They're both the A6 blank uh, models. This one I bought accidentally and I'm never going to use, which doesn't mean it isn't a great notebook on its own for somebody. This one I bought for the video tomorrow and uh, so that I could open it on camera and show you about uh, like the beginning and the end of journals and organization and like that. But uh, I thought I'd give it away because it's my favorite notebook of the moment. Leave a comment with uh, whichever one you want, either hard or soft cover. Maybe something a little bit about journaling in your own life or whatever, it doesn't really matter, it's gonna be random. And make sure you're following me on Twitter so that you know when uh, you've won, I guess. If you don't want these things, tell your friends. Uh, you know, this will give away either promotion. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow for another video about this. <laughs>